Hey guys, my name is Tanya and I'm just a girl that makes a living thrifting. And this morning, I'm just sitting out here on my deck waiting for Miss Alicia to show up so that we can head to New Orleans and we're gonna take y'all with us. We have the big 50% off sale at Salvation Army. So cross your fingers for us that it's gonna be super good. Starting off at Goodwill Tulane as usual and don't forget about Alicia's video. It's in the description. So how much are you putting back? Uh, all oh, this. Over half? I'm only getting... Yeah. That's it? That's it. All right. So this is this is my keeper pile right here. And this is my go back pile. So that's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five are going back. And I'm keeping the rest of them. I did really well in the jeans and pants today. And I got a robe that's super crazy. First off, I found these Alice and Olivia paper bag style jeans. I haven't found these before, but they look, comps were pretty good, right around 30-ish. These Pilcrow in the letterpress superscript, these are also going for around 30, 35 for these. These Adriana Goldschmied, these are the legging. They have a wax feel, so the black wax ones, these are the ones that sell for a lot more, right around 45 to 55. I did grab a couple of pair of frame jeans, the Forever Carly. This pair is more of like a skinny jean. Paid seven bucks a piece for them. And then this other pair, these are more of a boot cut. And, but they're also the Forever Carly. This one's the light wash and the other one was a dark wash. So I'm interested to see how these do. I initially grabbed these Lululemon, but when we got to the checkout, I looked all over for a size tag and could not find one anywhere. And then talking to Alicia, she told me she had gotten a fake pair from the same location, so I decided no. But this pair of Lululemon are men's and they are legit. They're called the Kung Fu Pant, which is hilarious to me. They don't sell for a ton, probably around $30, but I always love finding men's Lululemon because I don't come across it that often. This makes me super sad because I was gonna get these Spanx. I love picking up Spanx, and when I got up to the cashier, I noticed there was a hole in the crotch. Ugh! And I found a brand new pair of Abercrombie and Fitch. These are nice because they're a size 18 short. Nice distressing, good pickup. These are Emporio Armani. They are new with tags. They were $295 originally. I ended up paying $6, but they do have a stain on the leg. So I'm definitely gonna be working on that, hopefully getting it out. This right here is my favorite find probably from this thrift store. This is called Derrick Rose. It's made in England. If you come across this brand, make sure you pick it up. I paid $10 for it, so I did pay up, but this comes in men's and women's brands. This one right here, I'm hoping it'll bring right around $75. If you find the robes or pajamas that are, have like the velour, the super soft, those bring even more money over $100 for those sets. So keep a lookout. All right, time to go find Alicia so we can check out of here and go get us some lunch. Trying a new place. I think it's called the Ruby Slipper. I love them. Ooh, I got the Bacon Bloody Mary. We're going to see. I might get a, uh, where's that boozed iced coffee and be all toasty for when we go to a uh, half off sale. Salvation Army. You're going to be knocking into the racks. <laughs> I'm betting this is not going to disappoint because it looks good. Alicia got water. Boring. She's a good girl, unlike me. Someone's gotta be sober for this girl. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm driving though. <laughs> Put that part out. Oh. So I got the Cobb salad with fried chicken, the green goddess dressing. Alicia got a yummy BLT, BLT. and fries. Yeah. And I love that their portions aren't insane here. This is a, 
Is this a fried green yeah, tomato? It did oh say that gosh. it was going to be on there. I yeah. did not see mm -hmm. that. I saw it. I'm giving her this nasty avocado because <laughs> I do not it, like it. This green goddess dressing, though, is amazing. I tasted it so good. Hey, you. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you're not. Half off and blue tags are a dollar. Oh my gosh. I don't see buggies. Probably gonna have to wait. Place is a madhouse. These are Jag jeans. I always buy these when I can get them cheap. They are always, always a $20 quick flip. And I grabbed more than one pair. This is the other pair that I grabbed. And then I also found two more pair. And all four of these are a size 10, so I'm not sure if I'm going to lock them up or if I'm going to sell them all separate yet. I haven't decided. This is a brand new with tag one piece swimsuit. This is a Target brand. I think it's called like Cana Soul or something like that. Definitely worth picking up though for $2.50 because everything's half off. This originally sells for $40, so I'm hoping to get around $25 for it. This I had to look up. Apparently this is a social dating app. I had no clue. I found a couple of pieces here. It's called Bumble. I looked them up. I think they're gonna do pretty well. Probably better on Poshmark than on eBay. But this little bomber jacket is absolutely adorable. It's corduroy, it's got the arm patches. I think I can get like 30 for the sweatshirt and probably around the $50 mark for the jacket. I found another pair of Armani pants, but after looking them over and checking out the back part, I think somebody had a big booty because it looks like it was starting to separate in the back end, so I ended up passing on these. This is one of my favorite denim brands to sell, which is Duluth Trading Company. This pair is like a dark grayish, uh, almost a black, but these always bring right around the $30 mark, sometimes a little bit more. But this is a great pant to resell. Here we have a Northwestern Wildcats jersey on the Coliseum tag. This will definitely bring around $30 to $35. You know I love picking up my colleges. And of course I'm from Illinois, so I automatically knew who it was. It never fails. I almost always find at least one pair of Lululemon, but these are men's again. I can't believe I found another pair of men's Lululemon. These are the Surge Jogger. These retail for $118 and these are like brand new. Honestly, I'm not sure that they were worn. So I should be able to get a pretty decent amount for this pair. I found this pair of Brooks Spartan pants. Brooks pants usually do fairly well, including the shorts too. These retail for around $75, so I'm hoping to get right around the $30 mark for these. Looky there, I did find another pair of Spanx, and guess what? This time, no hole in the crotch, so super happy to find these. I love finding Spanx out at the thrift store, for sure. Looky, looky, these are some Zubaz, like spirit pants. These are Miami Dolphins, NFL. These are a size small, but of course they are seriously oversized. These usually sell for pretty decent money depending on the team. This team will probably bring right around anywhere between $30 and $40 probably list closer to the $40 mark and then take a best offer. And I grabbed this pair of Lucky Brand jeans for my husband. This is probably like his favorite brand of jeans to wear. They are the most comfortable for him. So whenever I find them in good condition in his size, I'll usually pick them up. And pair number two, Flex Ballroom jeans. This again is Duluth Trading Company jeans. These are the same size as like those grayish black ones that I picked up. So again, these should bring around the $30 mark. 
I grabbed these two Brooks Brothers. They're both uh, English lambs wool. They're Both of them are in excellent condition. I'm not sure they've been worn. They're both crew neck. So, and they're both a size large. Great colors on the two of them. I'm hoping they bring right around $30 a piece at least. And here's your numbers for this store. It's time for us to get back to Mississippi. Bye, y'all.